All right, truth and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Makakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, who teach us truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akims of Mohu, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming to you with another lesson to feed the lek at the house of Israel. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Now, we'll entitle this lesson The Lord Hates all workers of iniquity right because hey we got a lot of jigs today who doing abominable act things that are displeasing unto your basham your shy and saying that the lord loved them right but the scriptures say the lord hate all workers of iniquity because a lot of our our jigs our israelites some of these jigs said they are you know, we going after strange flesh. You know, being a transgenders, homosexuals, and these things, and thinking it is a, a righteous thing, thinking that the Lord gonna accept them in their filthiness, that they could enter into the kingdom. You know, in that state. You know, and not renewing the mind or repenting from the wicked ways that the scripture say in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is taught and let him return back to Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Right? So the Lord not going to accept, you know, these these jigs in that, in that madness, in that abomination to be accepted. For the Lord say he hid all workers of iniquity and the scriptures say in wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse 9 he say for the ungodly which is the man and his ungodliness are both alike heedful unto God right his ungodliness is sin the act he commit are both alike heedful unto your basham your shy right <coughs> and hey the Lord hey the Lord the Lord will, the Lord gonna destroy the ungodly, gonna destroy the wicked. You know? For when you look at the ancient time, how the Lord used to remove evil from Israel. He used to put them to death. Right? And remove the evil to put away the evil far from Israel. He put them to death. And this is why when you read in Zechariah, the Lord talk about two parts gonna be cut off and die to show you that hey, this world, you know, light and goes darkness. Because it's being run by the wicked, he saw Edom. And to show you, you know, he made all nations drink the wine of fornication. Right? Not just our people doing them abominable act, like, but hey, all nations. You know, he following the works of the devil. <coughs> right? Let's say in Sirach. Let's say in Sirach 16, verse 6. See, hey, in the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. Right? They want to repent. They want to turn. For the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled. Right? Let the multitude perish which were born in vain. The Lord going to destroy the, the nations, and he's he going to destroy two thirds of our people. Right, the Lord say, you know all of them second angels. The Lord say, you know all of them that sin against him. Therefore, he deliver them unto death and destruction. Right, verse 7. He say, he was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Neither spare he the place where Lot sojourned, but abhor them for their pride. Right, for their wickedness. Right? They why the scripture say you know, you know, he lead his place as example for you not to live ungodly. He destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? And, and, and America is referred to spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Bible we see in today. They declaring the sins of Sodom. Right? So the Lord is gonna a fire gonna kindle. The Lord gonna set the on blaze. 
right? These um these Psalms five and verse five. He said, "The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity." Lord hate all workers of iniquity. Right? So you can't come with being abominable and accept and I think the Lord sh you know should accept you in your condition you in. No. Renewed. Be renewed. Be renewed in your mind. Scripture say he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. I had to believe on what the scripture has said, and the scriptures didn't say that a, a man could lay down with a next man. Or a woman with a woman. The scriptures didn't say that. The scriptures say a man shall not lie with a next man like he lied with womankind. Right? For all that do so is abomination unto the Lord. Right, so the Lord see he's all workers of iniquity, that is wickedness, that is evil. <clears throat> right, the Lord destroy a lot of these, the Lord destroy a lot of nations, right, for the wickedness, right, because the Lord loves and hate, the Lord is of balance. But the scripture says, A false balance is abomination unto the Lord. Right, so the Lord, the Lord hates. Read in Malachi one and one. You know, the Lord hates Esau. Romans nine, talk talk about it too. For Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. <coughs> right, even when we possess, went and possess the land of Canaan, that other nations were dwelling there doing abomination. The Lord didn't love them. What the Lord tell them to do? Tell Joshua them, slew them. Slew these men. Right? They were doing all manner of evil. The Lord didn't love them. For the Lord hate all workers of iniquity. We can read it too in um in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy seven and verse start at verse one. He said, When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whether thou goest to possess it and and had cast out many nations before thee the Hittites, the Gergeshites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Right? You see, and, and when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them right because the lord hates all workers of iniquity <clears throat> right so when you're reading um the wisdom of solomon you say for i was for it was that with the Solomon 12 verse 3 say, For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those all inhabitants of the of thy holy land. Right? The land of Canaan is Israel today. Whom thou hatest for doing most odious work of witchcraft and wicked sacrifice. Right? Whom thou hatest. Right, he in love, he hates all workers of iniquity. So the Lord loves and he hates. Right, so he hates all of them, all these nations. Right, but he loves what Israel, he loves Israel, he loves Israel forever. Right, but when hey, when Jake step step out of bound, when Jake step out of line, they just get dealt with, they just get punished. Right, just as scripture said, Amos three and one, say only you have I known of all the people of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquity. Right, and also it shows that the Lord 
the Lord hates and the Lord loves. The Lord is of balance. Right? And we have enemies. The Lord feel, you know, these nations, they are enemies of your Abashamesh. They don't believe. The Kazi Mosai would be behind the the Lord name of the enemies in Psalm 83. Reading it, you will see the Lord have enemies. So the Lord hates. The Lord in love everybody. Right, but the Lord, the Lord is of balance. There's a time to love, there's a time to hate, there's a time to die, there's a time to kill. There's a season for everything. You know? And with that, I hope it was very final. I give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basha, Meoshai, Basha, Makakadash. I take him double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well. Peace and salutation to the Akims and Mori, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. They brought a quarrel saying, Inshallah.